Kristen Leroy Duncan versus Claudio Ribeiro. CLD, 9-1. He is 4-1 in his last five. He's coming off that KO finish over Dennis Tallulan, fighting against Claudio Ribeiro, 11-4, 3-2 in his last five. And he's actually coming off a head kick KO loss to Roman Kabilov. As we look at for the odds for this fight right now, we have CLD at minus 265. And the interesting thing about this one is he opened up at a plus 210. So he was a 2-1 to one dog, now 2-1 to one favorite over the course of about a week and a half. So interesting stuff there. Uh, Gerard, I'll let you break down this fight first. What do you think about CLD versus Ribeiro here? This fight, I think uh, CLD is going to be the dangerous, much more dangerous guy in this fight. In terms of striking, he's just more skilled, and more dynamic in his in his shots. Uh, the one thing that I wor- do worry about is uh, CLD's uh, grappling, and if Claudio Ribeiro goes in there with a heavy gap grappling game plan, this could be tough on CLD and uh, he he might get tired if Claudio's able to grapple and get him get him down Uh, Claudio does have the power but he doesn't have the technical or quick enough or the quick the quicks to uh, to strike with CLD I believe and CLD is long, so that's another danger factor there. And I think, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I probably see uh, Leroy Duncan uh, finishing Ribeiro in this fight. And I just worry about if uh, if he throws some some dumb strikes, some high risk shots like he did against uh, Armin, that uh, he could get caught and be on his back potentially against Ribeiro but I, I I'm still picking CLD in this one I think he can get uh Ribeiro out of there awesome I mean do you feel confident enough in to lay him in any kind of parlays you know going from a two to one dog to one favorite um I would put him maybe in one parlay but not in too much too much i'm like at a medium confidence on leroy duncan for sure yeah so going over my notes right now and uh, you know kind of interesting this is the the fight on the whole fight card that i took the most notes on (laughs) i guess it just turned out that way somehow by the way raw notes will be available as a pure pick pro benefit member for the members it's going to be ten dollars a month guys Gotta check out purepicks.gg to access those raw those raw notes and all of our plays. Alex already put in a play. Uh, it's a parlay that he had that he just thought of uh, today, and he's been on a heater. So to get to see that play, check out purepicks.gg and get that Pure Picks Pro membership, guys. Going back to CLD, man. My first introduction to this guy was the Armin Petrosian fight. You know, um, I was on him. I thought that he was going to go in just smoke Armin Prozorzian, and I was wrong. Came in and did like a clown show kind of fight. Uh, although that that probably wasn't the best introduction to him, though. You know, just going back over the rest of his career, you see that he's a pretty smooth and powerful striker. Multifaceted stand-up game has the capability to fight a clean technical fight. However, like I mentioned, he does incorporate some flashy strikes at times, some flying attacks, spinning attacks, you know, knees, elbows, kicks, all those kind of fancy attacks. He showed his back to Armin Petrosian. Um, if you guys watched that fight, he actually just turned around and showed his back. Uh, he keeps his hands low, too, and just a lot of clown tactics in there for a guy that I don't think he should be fighting like that. I think he's a much better fighter than that. He did fight clean and safer. In his last win versus Denny Tolulin, used a lot of clinch work along the fence, controlled the majority of the fight in the clinch, avoided taking damage when and was able to dish out some methodical knees, some clinch strikes. He does have some KO power, obviously. I mean, nine career wins, seven are KOs. That's 78% of his wins. 
He has two KOs in the UFC already, albeit one of them was a knee injury. Still two KOs. The grappling is the portion that I think is going to be the determining factor in this fight, like you mentioned, Gerard. I mean, CLD has not proved much grappling thus far in his career, aside from that clinch work in the UFC at least. He has a 50% takedown defense, and he was actually taken down by Armin Petrosian in that fight and controlled by for 3 minutes and 21 seconds. And Armin Petrosian is not anyone's idea of a good grappler, so that is a little bit concerning for me. The pre-UFC tape showed me that he does have the ability to have good takedown defense and get back up. Also, he has an ability to mix in his own takedowns if needed when he sees an opening. So I think he's a solid fighter. I mean, Ribeiro is a powerful slugger, likes to constantly move forward, get in a brawl, KO, looks for the KO. He has decent boxing technique. I think he likes to move forward and even try to counter while moving forward. Powerful leg calf kicks. I mean, this guy has some really powerful leg calf kicks. 11 KO wins, that's 100% of his wins. So this guy's looking for one thing and one thing only is to KO you. The bad thing about Ribeiro is that he has horrible striking defense, 31% striking defense. He's been KO'd twice in the UFC already. He was up on two judges' scorecards in round one versus Kapilov and proceeded to get head kick KO'd within the first 33 seconds of round two. So perhaps not a guy that you can trust in a striking matchup against a better striker. I think that he does show some okay takedown defense, tries to get back up. If you watch the Joseph Holmes fight, Joseph Holmes took him down, but Ribeiro got back up. He does seem to be a little uncomfortable grappling unless he is the aggressor, though. He seems to be more comfortable grappling against the cage. He landed a takedown on Holmes after chopping Holmes up on the feet. And you also have to sh- kind of show the powerful ground and pound as well. Um... Overall, I believe that CLD should be able to turn this into a technical kickboxing fight and finish Claudio similar to how Kapilov did. However, as as long as you know he he doesn't take this fight like lightly, uh, if he takes Claudio seriously, not showing his back, keeping his hands low, you know, not doing those clown tactics, I think he should expose Claudio's weak striking defense and tendency to move forward and walk to clean strikes. So the pick here is Claudio, I mean, uh, CLD via KO. However, for now, I'm staying away from this as that was just very concerning for me, seeing how he got taken down by Armin. And I know that Claudio is a better grappler than Armin. So we'll see what happens. Maybe along the end of the week, I'll be more confident in CLD, but for now, I'm probably going to hold off him as any kind of play.